what is up guys and welcome back to the channel this is dr Ahmed thanks so today we're doing a speed ramp temperature geek bench and a 3d mark test here between two very powerful flagship killers in the first corner we have the realme gt neo 3 and in the other corner we have the poco x4 gt both of these two phones do have the same mediatek dimensity 8100 and both of them do have eight gigs of ram inside of them so before we do anything let's check out the temperatures over here room is at 28.4 phones for the x4 gt 35.9 and on the gt neo 3 36 degrees so very very similar indeed so what we like to do at the start is of course to boot these two phones up and just keep in mind that both of these two phones have been charged up to 100 as we start this test and we are going to test the battery life as well if it performs better one over the other so normally Poco phones do have a very fast boot up. Let's see over here if it follows with the X4 GT. Okay, the GT Neo 3 does take the cake for this one. Whereas over here, it does take some time. Calendar is almost ready to go. And it's done. It's all ready to go. And in terms of the display settings, just want to let you guys know, both of these two phones have been set up to HD settings and also 120 hertz this one does have your 144 hertz in terms of the brightness over here both of them are maxed out and in terms of the internet connection both of them are connected to the same wi-fi network and also location is on every other form of connection is disabled so it looks like everything is ready to go over here and just to let you guys know all apps have been closed on both of these two phones before we start this test okay and now let's check out the temperatures before we start anything 36.2 and on the gt neo 3 36.1 so very very similar indeed so all right let's go one two three let's go Okay, it looks like the X4 GT was just slightly ahead of the GT Neo 3. Next up here, Pokemon Go. And it's pretty neck and neck, but the X4 GT was just very slightly ahead. Now let's go on to YouTube. Okay, about the same. Instagram. All right, about the same. All right, and another huge app over here, PUBG Mobile. Let's see which one comes on top. Looks like the X4 GT is having a slight lead over here with some useless animation but i think the x4 gt was just very very slightly ahead next up google chrome okay about the same i would say next up here we go to facebook all right rest in peace shopee over here about the same next up youtube music Clear win on the GT Neo 3 settings. Slight lead on the GT. And let's go to Manchester United. New season, same players. All right, about the same, I would say. Premier League. All right, going on to Netflix. Okay, just slightly on the GT Neo 3 camera app. Let's just switch on to some cameras. Okay, portrait, whatsoever. Okay, about the same, I think, in terms of speed, both really, really fast. And then let's go on to TikTok. Okay, clear win over here. Twitter. The GT Neo 3 was, I think, slightly ahead. Play Store. About the same, I would say. And now let's check out the temperatures on both of these two phones. 37 degrees. 
36.9 so i would say it's pretty similar so now let's do a ram test on both of these two phones okay i think that is counted as a refresh and now let's go to pokemon go again another refresh on both of these two phones quite disappointing i would say pubg mobile this one's not too bad in case of you pubg users out there google chrome a refresh here facebook not too bad instagram not too bad as well let's go to premier league a refresh on the gt neo 3 that's already twice okay this one seems all right and then if we go on to youtube music another refresh here so about three times so i think the xbox gt is doing better here in terms of ram management all right so now we're going to do a gpu test on both of these two phones and both of them are going to export this into 4k at 60 fps and we're going to see which one would come out on top right now looks like the gt neo 3 is having a very slight lead over here, the x4 gt but it looks like it's catching up really really fast on both of these two phones and very very close battle here i think it's been one of the most exciting gpu tests we have done so far and i would say that was pretty much equal let me know in the comments which one you thought did faster and now let's move on to the next test all right so now moving forward let's do a geekbench test on both of these two phones and let's just check out the temperatures x4 gt 36.8 on the GT Neo 3, 36.4, so pretty similar, I would say. Let's just run this test, and battery-wise here is at 96%, here at 95%, and I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done here, and the GT Neo 3 did come out on top. Very nice scores here, single core score hasn't hit the 1k mark and the multiple score of 4000 and as we compare this to the X4 GT, it is a little bit higher so it's quite interesting here. Alright so now let's move on to the next one which is the compute test and again I will see you guys at the end when we do get the results, battery wise 95 here 94%. Okay, so we are done and the GT Neo 3 did come out on top and quite a massive difference in terms of time. Nice score here, 4,932. And now let's check out the temperatures here. 37.5, which of course is not surprising at all. Let's give some time to the X4 GT, which seems to be done. Let's see in terms of score, massive difference of here, almost 1K. And in terms of temperature, 38.5 so yeah as we can see battery wise as well pretty similar both of them also do have very similar battery size 5000 and 5080 on the x4 gt so let me just cool these two phones down as we move on to the next test okay and now the last test over here which is the 3d mark test and we're going to check out the temperatures 36.4 and on the gt neo 3 36.4 so pretty similar indeed and now let's just run this test and let's see who will come out on top and i'll see you guys in the end when we do get the results okay so we are done and i would say that the x4 gt did look like it performed better and it definitely does in terms of score we have a better score in terms of fps as well 34.9 up against 21.3 and now let's go on to the next one which is the slingshot test and before we go any further let me just check out the temperatures here 37.5 and on the gt neo 3 36.5 so definitely better temperature management on the gt neo 3 one two three let's run this test and again i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results
Okay, so we are finally done and in terms of the scores all maxed out on both of these two phones. FPS here did perform better compared to the GT Neo 3 but of course as we go on to the last one here, the test part 3, the GT Neo 3 did come out on top. These are the specs that you might be looking for and this is the graph that you might want so you can screenshot this if you guys are into that. Temperature wise, uh, let's go check it out. 40 degrees on the X4 GT and over here 38.6 so definitely better on the GT Neo 3 battery wise 92% here at 91% so if you guys did find this video helpful and also want to see more of these type of videos do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and still here on YouTube at Dr. Hammerstack so that is it this is Dr. Hammerstack stay safe take care and